Perfect Soup by Lisa Moser, illustrated by Ben Mantle. When you hear this sound, it's time to turn the page. Murray shined the teapot. Perfect, he said. Murray set the table. Perfect. Murray looked out the window. Soup is perfect on a snowy day. He filled a pot with water and opened the cookbook. Ah, the recipe for perfect soup. Potatoes, Red Murray. Plop, plop. Tomatoes, Red Murray. Plop, plop, plop. Corn, Red Murray. Plop, plop, plippity plop. Carrot, Red Murray. No plop, no plop at all. Murray dashed around the kitchen and opened all the cupboards. No carrot, moaned Murray. He put on his mittens. And went outside. Murray ran right past Snowman. Murray was in a hurry. Farmer. Will you please give me a carrot? Asked Murray. I need a carrot for perfect soup. Farmer leaned on his pitchfork. I reckon I'd give you a carrot if you hauled some logs from the timber. I need wood to build a barn. Murray thought about his soup. He liked things perfect. You will have your wood, said Murray. Murray scurried through the meadow. Snowman smiled at him, but Murray didn't have time to stop. Murray was in a hurry. Horse, will you please haul some logs? Farmer needs wood to build a barn, and I need a carrot for perfect soup. Horse shook her mane and whinnied. I'll carry those logs if you give me jingle bells. I want to be fancy like the town horses. Murray bit his lip. Perfect soup had potatoes, tomatoes, corn, and carrot. I think I can get some jingle bells," said Murray. Murray walked into town. Snowman waved one stick arm, but Murray didn't have time to wave back. Murray. Was in a hurry. Shopkeeper, will you please give me your bells? Horse needs bells to feel fancy. Farmer needs wood to build a barn, and I need a carrot for perfect soup. Shopkeeper peered over his spectacles. I'll trade some jingle bells if you shovel my walk. Murray looked at the mountain of snow and the shovel he couldn't even lift. He tugged on his whiskers and twisted his tail. Maybe I can find someone to shovel your walk, he squeaked. Murray climbed the hill. Snowman wrote a message in the snow. But Murray didn't have time to look. Murray was in a hurry. Miller's boy, will you please shovel a walk? Shopkeeper needs a nice, clean walk. Horse needs bells to feel fancy. Farmer needs wood to build a barn, and I need a carrot for perfect soup. 
Miller's boy poked a finger through a hole in his mitten. I would shovel a walk if I had new mittens. Murray flopped in the snow. He needed that carrot. If he didn't have the carrot, his soup wouldn't be perfect. There's a teeny weeny chance I could get a pair of mittens. Murray plodded down the road. Snowman called out, Stay and play! Murray shook his head. He didn't have time to play. He needed things to be perfect. Murray was in a hurry. Mrs. Wooly, will you please knit some mittens? Miller's boy needs mittens for his cold, cold hands. Shopkeeper needs a nice, clean walk. Horse needs bells to feel fancy. Farmer needs wood to build a barn. And I need a carrot for perfect soup. Mrs. Wooly shook her finger at Murray. Ah, such a bad, bad day. My yarn is a jumble. My cocoa just burned my tongue. I will not knit mittens on this bad, bad day. And with that, she slammed the door on Murray. Murray trudged home, sat down, and cried. What's wrong? asked a voice. Murray looked around. He saw a snowman. Coco burned Mrs. Wooly's mouth, and I will never have perfect soup, Murray said with a sob. I can help, said Snowman. He reached up and scooped a bit of snow off a tree branch. Then he plopped the snow into Murray's lap. That will cool the Coco, Murray sighed. But what do you want for helping me? He asked. Nothing, said Snowman. It's a gift. A gift? Whispered Murray. For me? He jumped up. He ran over to Snowman and hugged him. Thank you. Murray ran all the way back to Mrs. Woolley's house. He plopped the snow into her cocoa. He sorted yarns and wound them into bright balls. Mrs. Woolley took a long drink. This is good cocoa. This is neat yarn. You have turned this into a good day to knit. She knitted a pair of mittens. These mittens are warm, said Miller's boy. He shoveled the walk. This walk is clean and clear, said shopkeeper. He wrapped up the bells. These bells make me feel fancy, said horse. She hauled the logs. This wood will make a fine barn, said Farmer. He gave a carrot to Murray. Murray whistled while he finally finished cooking his soup. He put on his mittens and went outside. Murray ate soup with his new friend. It did not have a carrot. It was perfect. <laughs>